Hello, my name is Matthew Randall, and in this tutorial, what I want to do is have a look at um, fixing floor contacts uh, from your motion capture performance. Um, uh, inside a Motion Builder, there's actually uh, tools inside a Motion Builder for fi fixing floor floor contacts for you. Uh, specifically, what I want to do is look at where um, a motion capture, the the feet of a motion capture performance might be penetrating the ground, and so that kind of breaks the illusion when we render it out of the character being on the ground. You can kind of see the problem here, but what I'm going to do is if I just insert a, a ground plane in here, so I'm just going to go scene, right click, insert object plane. Here we go. Um, now, for some reason, it's put the plane there i don't know why but if i just go into the translation in the y set that to zero that will correct it and hopefully we can see now that oop, that in our uh, motion performance look you can see where the feet are penetrating the ground okay so if we remember in motion builder uh, there's this thing called character okay so we have these uh, character things here that we drag onto our uh, onto our um um models or our, uh, it, it, more specifically, we drag onto the joint system of our models. And what that does is it basically allows Motion Builder to understand the joint system and be able to, and therefore be able to retarget motion capture animations to that joint system. So in that process, it's doing a whole load of retargeting and it's solving a wide variety of problems in order to do that for us. Okay. Inside, uh, but what we can actually do is we can actually go into the settings of that. Uh, of that solver and um, refine the settings and one of those settings is floor contact so um, I've called uh, uh, so so this character here is actually just called uh, character okay so we can go into the system and under, under characters we just go character obviously you could give it a more sensible name uh, so we go into character so double click on it and, and it'll bring up and what we want to do is you might be in the character definition tab here uh, where you've defined the character if you needed to, or, or it may have done that automatically for you. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go into the character settings. So this is the settings for the solve, okay? Let me just open this up a little bit. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to go down to modifiers, okay? Um, I've already sort of opened these out f uh, for you where we want to, so, um, uh, so you may have to open these out. So you want to go into modifiers, sorry, modifiers, floor contact, okay, and then what you want to do is go floor contact, uh, sorry, feet contact floor, and you just want to switch that on. So if I just go underneath here, we can kind of, where we can see the problem, I'm just going to switch that on, okay? So you can see it's fixed that floor contact for us. Excellent, okay? Um, uh, and you can also do uh, toe contact as well, okay? Uh, as well, okay. So what we want to do as well is, is, um, uh, is, is in order to make that floor contact work properly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it off, okay? And I'm just going to go and and rather than follow the animation, I'm just going to go into start. So it goes into like a T pose. Our character goes into a T pose stance. So what it's using to figure out the floor contact is these points around the feet here. So you may have seen these and gone, well, what what do those do? And ignored them. Well, they're actually uh, helping you pick out the floor contact or where the feet contact the floor so if we're turning the feet the floor contact on it's really good to kind of refine these so they actually fit around the feet properly and that's an easy enough job to do we just simply select them and then we can just with the translation tool on we can just literally move them around you can see they are linked together so if you move one in it will move the other in uh, that's not a problem okay and we're just going to click on this one and it'll move the other one in and then here uh, again just do the same for the back so you can see they're all linked together um, you can actually update these inside of um, uh, in, inside of actually these settings here as well, um, but uh, we're just going to do it using this method here. I think uh, I think that will do. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So again, I can switch it back to sorry, switch this back to my animation, um, and then hopefully what we'll end up with is a more accurate kind of floor contact. So when we switch on the feet contact again, okay, hopefully we end up with a more accurate kind of floor contact solve there. And you can see that it's just going to automatically solve that problem for my entire motion. So uh, that is fixing floor contacts, okay, or at least penetrating floors uh, inside a motion builder.